guys and game devs. Some weeks ago I made a metany tutorial about Unreal Engine 4, but in version 4.12 there's a new tool, the Sequencer, that replaces the metany. This tutorial is about getting you started with this great feature, and therefore we will create together a simple sequence containing an animated camera and some animations for our Herbert Monster Guy here. So press Cinematics, add level sequence, name your sequence like any cool name, my level sequence for example. OK. And now the sequencer is added to Unreal Engine 4. You can see you can dock it as a top or you can also use it as a flying window. I prefer to dock it here like that. And now let's see. So what we could do now is um, to add a camera that is already um, placed in your map. But there's another possibility that I want to show you and this is adding a scene camera. And this is the button here. Press it and now you can see that a camera and so-called cinema cuts, which are previews of your current sequence are added to the sequencer tool. Okay, now let's select this added camera. Uh, remove this, this will be explained later on. And now you see your new Cine camera and I um, enable the auto key. This means when I change the location or the rotation of this camera, then uh, keyframes for this um, manipulations are added for our current frame. And now let's rotate the camera and let's point it to the direction we want to have for our first keyframe. So I change the rotation here so that I have my monster character directly in the viewport of the camera. And now let's move to the next frame that I want as my second keyframe. And let's reduce the distance to the character. Like this. And now you can see this yellow line. This is the movement of the camera which is kind of recorded for the sequence and when I choose this slider here when I move it you can see the sequence in the preview. So that's a really comfortable way to create your sequences. Really cool feature, the sequencer. But there's more to it which I will show you now. So open the layouts and select two panes. And now you have these two panes uh, side by side. And I want to arrange it in a way that I can preview my sequence in the right pane. So select Cinematic Preview. And select the camera. And now there's a really cool feature you can use. Um, right click this camera and select the camera as pilot. And now you can see it is a kind of preview. You can see the sequence as it will be like you are looking through this camera. You have a real preview of the scene you are currently recording. Okay, now see what happens when we press play for our game. We don't see our sequence. Why? Well, very easy. Select your sequence in your world outliner and set autoplay to true. And now when you press play again, you will see that your sequence will be played. Okay, once again. Here is your sequence, now the sequence ends, and then your game continues. 
Okay, one last thing I want to show you uh, for the camera is um, the piloting mode. When you have pilot active, like I have it here, you can move the camera around um, by the keys W, A, S, D and holding the right mouse button. And the cool thing is that when you do this and move the camera like that and um, have piloting active, then this is recorded and stored as a keyframe. Okay, let's do this here. You see that the camera is um, storing this information. It is stored to the sequence. And now we're done. And you see the keyframe is set. And when you start, again we have to switch back to pilot. Okay, and now you see that our movement is recorded and this is really comfortable, really great way to record the movement of your camera to a sequence. To make it a little bit more interesting, let's add some animations. First, add the monster guy to this sequence. What's the name? I think yeah, it's monster character. Okay. Press add, add to sequence, and here's add monster character. And here he is. You can see him. Let's add an animation. This guy has five animations. First we want to play the idle animation. Let's move this animation track to the first frame, frame 0. Ok, it's too long, so select the outer right edge of the track and reduce the length and move it to the left. And now add a next animation. This is a kind of smashing animation when the character is destroying something. Yeah, then move the first one here to the to the start of the second one and now we are done. We have a nice scene, we have a movement of a camera, we have added two animations. Already quite nice and not much work. Took about five minutes. Really cool. So I hope you learned something about the sequencer, you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions feel free to ask. See you soon here on JNM on YouTube. Bye.